What's good? We got 6ix9ine, YG, and Nicki Minaj in the building. Hit that subscribe button and hit that intro. What's good guys? I'm back up here with another video. Make sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. I'd appreciate that a lot. So let's get into the details. So anyway, 6 9 and YG, I'm pretty sure most of y'all already heard the deal between them two, right? Well, Academics just posted on this page recently, like just recently, recently. And I think it was a video of YG's interview on The Breakfast Club. And he was just spitting facts, man. He was just speaking facts like, look, I'm not beefing with this kid no more. I mean, you already see it on his Instagram videos, everything. He's always talking about being a kid. He's just a kid, you know? And this is what 6 9 had to say. YG, suck my dick. You had two chains, Big Sean, Nicki on your single, and it still couldn't pass me. Then Nicki Minaj hopped on that shit like, look, I told you to chill, Daniel. You know Big Bank went gold before Fifi, right, babe? Stop trolling. Both songs are fire, so why are you tripping? Basically, right? And part of the problem with 6 9 is that he don't like paying homage to people that came before him, right? And number two, he don't pay homage to people's lands either. I mean, look, he already disrespected LA. He already disrespected dead people. And he already disrespected people's mom. I mean, I'm pretty sure you were raised with common sense, my boy, but... Back to the subject. That's the type of shit that gets a target set on you. And because of your trolling addiction, you might be serving three years. Because if it wasn't for your trolling addiction, you probably wouldn't, they probably wouldn't have been paying attention to you. Now they're like, look, we're tired of this motherfucker. We gotta do something to keep him locked up. And I thought common sense was gonna hit was gonna hit you hard whenever you got kidnapped. Now I'm starting to think that was a publicity stunt. But I'm not hating, but that's just the type of shit that gets a target set on you. And you see what I'm saying? Basically the main things you could basically the main things you would have you could have done to avoid this fucking gap in the road was to be, man, just to just be yourself, man. Like just be yourself and just get that money and just make records. Now it's just like everybody hates you. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of your success is just because you're entertaining as fuck. So it's like motherfuckers, motherfuckers search you on YouTube every single day because you're entertaining. So that's mainly the reason why you're still popular. And it's kind of like if you give something too much attention, it's going to keep on going and going and going and going. Right? But anyways... I know he wasn't expecting Nikki to say nothing, man. I know he wasn't. Cause I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't I wouldn't have even expected that. You see what I'm saying? But is what it is though, man. Just everybody just stay positive. Keep on doing y'all's thing. And stay blessed. Hit that like button and please subscribe. I'd appreciate that a lot. I'm out here. A rato.